Hey everybody, Galusia here, and uh, of course I'm joined with Viper and Scale, and Scale decides to be in a hole somewhere, but hi Viper. <laughs> uh, Hello. And uh, I'm starting off today's episode with science. Pack this sucker. So these we have a lot of these extra platforms, so I've been repackaging them because we've been you know, developing new platforms, but they don't fit even in the extra large shredder. But, I'll, but uh, Viper just asked a question, if we pack it, does the package fit in the shredder? Or rather, can it be shredded? Right. It's... N no, it's not even trying to link that up. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. But, I mean, there's a packaged platform for you. <laughs> We have a lot of package oh. platforms over here by the launch platforms. <laughs> Can't science that right now, but I am going to travel to the next planet. But first, I'll update the peeps real quick. Uh, we got uh, a couple Ooh, of the, the extra large platform Cs so that we can start like more efficiently doing what we do. Hydrazine up there. That's a... Oh, okay. That doesn't really work, does it? You can't put these side by side on these things. Look at this. It doesn't, because then you can't use the holes next to it, because they... Nah, uh, it'll just clip through. No, there's got to be... Can you rotate? No. You got to rotate it. You got to... Right? Well, see, so you want them You want them to yeah. be facing to where the uh, the blue the blue bits there are facing each other. Otherwise, you literally can't. Like, you're going to be losing storage. Well, that's what you're doing, but there's no way to, like, line them up. And, yeah, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Well, they just overlap. That's they'll they'll go on there regardless. We already found that out with the. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, a couple like platform changes and stuff. Um, uh, off camera, I hooked up a couple more of those alien platform thingies to help uh, Viper and Scale with their mission. I also built one of the recreational canopies. I still need to build one more, so we'll we'll get up a playing field at some point. Um, and this crap is sitting here because I turned our large rover into a mobile shredding bay and got a lot of shredding done that way. Um, that was very useful. So, but I'm going to head out now. So I've got uh, my shuttles all packed. So I've got all my storages. I'm using wind power for the planet that I'm going to. Uh, let's see. I got a lot of resident carbon. I've got two large platform bees. So I just need some random crap, and then I'm good. Um, so let's talk about what planet I'm going to go to. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Today is Glacio. That's the ice planet. Um, Titan is the primary resource. I still haven't seen natural Titan. We always trade for it, so I'm looking forward to hopefully finding it. The only gas that it has is argon, and I feel like I have plenty of that already, so I'm not even going to bother with an astrophemeric thumagoo. So, I think I have everything that I need. I think I'm all right. So, I'm going to head off. You guys have fun. Wow, there are an insane amount of research items, like, just on the surface, like, everywhere. I've already spotted, like, seven. Cool. Wow. So this, I mean, depending on how much they're worth, this could be a pretty good planet for research. Mm. Like, I'm definitely going to set up a few research bays before I leave. Um, let's just look around a little bit. Let's look around a little bit before we get carried away and build a base. Mm. Wow. Well, if that little surface scan thingy is any indication, I think the research uh, things on this planet are going to be amazing. You know those little tiny ones that grow on plants on Silva? Yeah, they're worth yeah, like uh, 20. Good. Yeah, this one was yeah. worth 74, 75. Yep. So it's like three times the amount. <clears throat> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Here. Holy crap, I can't believe I pulled that off just now. Man, that could have been a problem. Fell in a hole. And uh, manage to somehow build a ramp from below the hole down I'm into still. the hole. Like a boss. And guess what? Without even starting to really look inside the cave, I have already found titanium. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, good. 
It's actually working. For some reason, the sun's not even up. Well, apparently it is. I know this thing's not angled, but hell, if it's getting... I'm not complaining. Can't even see the sun. Whoa! 363 bites just from one of these little nodulars in the cave. Cool. Nice. Holy nodular. shizzle. You're a nodular. Viper, look up. I oh, shit. Whoa, I have found a new rock surface that is actually, with the boost mod, I can't, like, I, this doesn't work. I can't do this. Interesting. Yeah, like, I can, it, like, I can technically dig through it, but it's, like, crazy slow, even with a boost mod. So I really need that drill mod, which, of course, I, uh, I left back on the other planet. Okay, leaving Glacio. So that was a short visit to the planet, but I do feel like um, it, it. That planet has a lot of riches, but you need to be able to like take advantage of it. It's um, the high wind is helpful, but there's no organic. So unlike um, the Sania, where it was high wind, but we could facilitate in other ways with um, like use the medium generators to like offset the crappiness of the wind turbines. That's really not an option for... Uh, oh, I can see you guys. I just flew by you. Ah. Hello. Yeah. You're, I can see, like, which beacon thingy you're at. Oh, you mm. can see which ones are lit from space. I can see that this one's lit up. Oh. Okay, so I can see where you guys are at, and I just, like, rotated away from you. Let me see if I can spot one that's not lit up. Hold on. Yeah, do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so don't... I don't know what direction I'm in, though. I don't know what compass direction I'm flying away from you guys, but... All the ones in the direction that I'm going away from you are lit. One. Oh God. There's one next to us that isn't. Yeah, that's got to be yeah, the one, because this one's lit, that. too. I, yeah, so all the ones on the axis that I was flying, I don't know if it's the equator or, like, what axis I'm flying on. Okay, so if it's all of them, then that means we have to go... That was the one we just did. Which one? I anyway. one on the far right side. So my my thoughts on that planet is that uh, it's interesting, but uh, you definitely need to be ready. If I was to go there again, I would have brought like eight wind turbines because the four wind turbines was 100% not getting it done and was just making it very challenging for me to do anything. And I left three research chambers on there doing their thing but they are likely even though like they're supposed to only take like 14 minutes except for the other one that's supposed to take like um 30 it's likely going to take two to three times that amount of time because they're going to keep slowing down and stop working and stuff so which is fine because i'm not going to be there anyway so they can take as long as they want but yeah my point is um if the viewers were to travel there like you would definitely want a lot of power sources before you go there because it's pretty tough the other thing that i wish is i wish i could just make a damn rtg so i have all the ingredients i need to make an rtg that was a big goal of mine today i feel like that's like the ultimate like end game thing for me and because like it's the best power source that you can you know arguably get and i um really wanted to make one but uh i have all the ingredients i need to make it and I was thinking, oh, I should use this to, like, power my base at the last planet that I go to. Because that one has, like, low wind and sun. So, like, that's a pain. But uh, you need helium. And the only place you can get helium is on the last planet that I need to travel to. So it's a meme. <laughs> there, It's a meme. They're a meme. Uh, so I'm guessing what you're meant to do, because I can't think of any other scenario is that you're supposed to just struggle like a fish out of water on that planet until you can gather enough helium to make an RTG so that you can then thrive on that planet. But that's not fun. That's not a fun game mechanic. So I, I find that frustrating, frankly. I don't like that at all. I feel like well, you should be able to, to make the enough, RTG before you go You just need to bring there. enough batteries to... Uh, but the batteries need power. I can't, the, uh, yeah, no, you fill the batteries beforehand. Well, that's well, that's it. Yeah, that's and you're right. So that's that's what I that's what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking about what the oh my god. 
I was thinking about um, taking a battery, uh, like four of them, and charging them beforehand, and then just loading them, or at least two, but and then loading them into the spacecraft where they'll take up an entire spot instead of like a medium storage. I'll have to take batteries, and mm -hmm. then um, and then bring in the necessary ingredients and stuff with me to build a. Like print. the only thing, you, like a small printer, is all you need to make an RTG. So yeah, um, but you have to bring. So I'll have to bring a medium printer, and I'm gonna have to make a atmospheric condenser, or I can make the atmospheric condenser here and take up nope. a big, like a pretty big damn spot as well. Um, yeah, I, that's pretty much what I would have to do. I'm gonna have to build it all ahead of time and just. Use up all the splot splots, all the spots in the air and the in the craft to and just you know do it that way. But that, frankly, sounds horrible. That sucks. But it is what it mm -hmm. is, right? The other thing is, yep. I don't think I can make a bunch of batteries right now. I might have to steal some of our batteries because we're really low on zinc, and you guys are out and about doing your thing. So, um, and can I don't have get zinc from the trade platform. Um. That's a good Either point. that or the soil centrifuge. That's what I was say. Zinc is common, so you can just get it from the soil centrifuge. I don't think you can get zinc from the soil centrifuge. You can get it from the trade platform. I do not believe it's available in the soil. I'm gonna look. Graphite. No. Nope. It's either zinc or graphite. Yeah. So trade platform, we can do though, because we got a lot of scrap earlier. Oh, okay. We looks like we probably have. Hold on. Stop. 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 How many times do I have to say stop before you listen? Do you not notice this? Oh yeah, it's one of those giant mushrooms. How is this underground? It's probably from cave. Oh yeah, that's a cave, all right. Right. Well, that that's why I was trying to tell down. you to stop because there was a massive something. Oh, the massive something's gone now. No, oh, here. If you're oh. placing stuff, I'm on tether detail, silly. Oh, I can see something really interesting down there. Uh, ah, never mind. It's just a medium generator. Oh, sorry. Digging. Ah, destroy. I've never seen copper underground. Neither have I. We are very deep. There are those giant mushrooms. Yeah, there's huge mushrooms. There's a ton of stuff down here. I can see derelict mm -hmm. everything. Oh, kill that. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Yeah, there were General stuff, there suppose. were a lot of derelict things. Is it just there. me or do we slow? F yeah, there's less gravity. Oh yeah, I died oh, by the way. Those, yeah, yeah, those killed me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely less gravity. That's confirmed. Cool. Which makes sense. Yeah. I'm glitched. Oh god. Probably gonna die from a falls. Holy shit, I'm alive. Hi. Oh, hi. How the hell did you get down here so fast? Uh, I glitched and ran faster than you could ever possibly actually run in this game. <laughs> Dude, as I'm digging down, I swear to God, I'm hitting nothing but pure resources. Look at this. Yeah. There's sapphire, ammonium, and copper in such abundance that I'm pooping it out the back of me. Like, I can't. Maybe when you go this far down, it's just like, here's all the resources this game has all together. They're all here at the core. Oh, journey to the center of a thing. Hold on, let me get the tethers. I mean, like, we literally can't even... Like, look at all this crap! I'm tripping over yeah. resources. This is insane. It's just disappearing. Journey to the center oh. of the thing. There's an opening here. Okay. Oh, I see something. Oh. It's powered. Oh, look, there's like cables going to it. Ooh. 
See how it's kind of like tethered? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. See. Okay. Maybe the things on the surface. Yep, we're, we're on to something here. Let's keep going. Look at all that shit down. What is all that? What is all of that? There's some over the... Oh, jeez, right here. There. Right above us. What is that? What is it? I don't know. What? Astromonium. It out. Astromonium? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, what can I take off my back? Oh, tethers. Hold on. Let me place tethers. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, let me let me place tethers. See, I knew we were going to find some weird crap down here that we needed to, like... I have a theory. Oh, God. I almost walked off the side. Can we make this wider? <laughs> I don't have much stuff left. Damn it. I'm making it as... I'm just getting us down first. Okay, I'm out of tethers, by the way. But I have a theory about astrominium. Oh my god, I cannot break this. Hold on, I'm gonna suck up some astrominium oh, really quick. because I have no power. Hmm. Nope. Okay, theory wrong. I'm Moving on. Four. Oh god! Oh my god! Do not <laughs> jump! Well, at least we won't die from fall damage, I Okay, guess. fair enough, fair enough. Is this, like, what is this? Like, what are we looking at right now? I don't know. It's very... Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, I found the center of the planet. Oh, yeah, that's, that's something else. That's very... Oh, God, I'm sliding down, and... Hmm. That is so hmm. trippy. This... That's... <laughs> this is... But see, look, not all the corners are lit, though. Are you you notice yeah. like? Yeah, I noticed that as well. I mean, are we sure that we powered all of them? Yes, one hundred percent. Hmm. Oh God. Maybe we dig it out. Let me get back off and back on the ground. Yeah, this if is I can. I was gonna say no like this is really weird. All right, there we go. How do I get off this thing? You gotta, like, jump off on one of the corners. I'm trying. Like, there. Like, when it tries to switch, you have to jump, basically. Um, I don't want to die. You won't. There's plenty Ugh. of, you know, no gravity. No, I'm saying from air. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. We still need that, don't we? Right. Oh, There's no God. air on the center of the earth thingy magoo and then we ran out of tethers so i can't bring them down i have to go up to breathe okay so i got lazy my uh, my theory was that astronium doesn't have a proper use yet i'm guessing that they want to add some sort of um something to make that interesting um so there might be some kind of like late game stuff that they make later on that requires astronium. Um, so right now, if you're to use astronium, the only thing that it can be used for is it can be researched for a thousand bytes over 25 minutes or 40 bytes per minute per nugget. But it serves no purpose beyond that. Um, I mean, it's nice to know that it can be researched, but mm. that's literally the only thing that it's accomplishing right now. Um, good either. It's interesting that the layer bef right before the center, though, was insanely rich with resources. Like, we were literally tripping over resources. It was so it ridiculous. It may have just been that one spot, though. I, I, I kind of feel like the whole core is like that to a point. Got off. Okay. There we go. God. Down here. Oh. Look at that. Whoa, boy! Oh, well, actually, it's fine. We we need to get down there, and that's an easy way to get down there. Yeah, oh my air, God. air, air! We don't have air. Yo, Encounter dude. with the infinite. All right, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, these are all. There are all the spikes from the things. Whoa! Oh my God! So this oh. is the center. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. That is so trippy. Okay. 
Oh. Oh god. Am I on the wrong side? I might be on the wrong side. Glue, what are you doing over there on the ceiling? I don't know. Just looking at stuff. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. There's little symbols. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful. But you can put stuff on. See the symbols on top? What is that? Because I think... Astronium. Maybe? That's not what the symbol looks like, though. No. I'll try putting some on. I don't know what that it's symbol is, but I do know... Uh, we... Oh, we're getting oxygen. We're not I was going to say, oxygen. I'm yeah. not losing oxygen now that I think of it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. This is so mysterious, bro. All right. I got some quartz. Okay. What? Why did ammonia just come flying at me? Uh, because I'm breaking stuff on the ceiling and it's going to the center of the... Oh. Quote, unquote, ceiling. This is really trippy. I would imagine a lot of people will play this game and never see or experience the center. And this is mm. like... Oh, oh, some of the stuff that you quote-unquote dropped fell to the ceiling. Look up, and you can see like yeah, random bits of ammonia. Oh. Oh. Uh, geometric... To oh. oh! I took it! Hold on, hold on, don't don't mess with that. I wanna yeah, let me I'm gonna go up to the ceiling. I have a theory. I have a theory. Oh yeah. Cause there's like a a socket here. Oh, oh things are happening. Okay. Oh, it's going away. Hey! Silva! Unlocked! Oh we and got the suit! The Yay! Okay, hold on, let me look at this. So I'm guessing we can now teleport back to the core whenever we want and to any of the nodes. But yeah. look at the... There's a node out here. Oh, yeah, I see that. Cosmic elevation that I can't click on. I see that. That's new. Indeed. How do we get to that? Who knows? I'm gonna suffocate while teleporting because it's like I'm. It, I think mm -hmm. it's frozen. Like I'm teleporting, but it's not spitting me out. And I don't know if like the game lagged or bugged or did something, but I'm definitely gonna die as a result of it. Maybe because we were both multi teleporting to yeah. multiple locations at the same time or something. I don't even know. Yep, I'm back. I'm back at here, and God only knows where my body would have ended up because I was in the middle of teleporting. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Um, so we unlocked the core of the planet, so that's cool. So we accomplished that. Um, and in doing so, we revealed what looks to be like some sort of satellite. Hold on, scale. Look up. Is that... I can see an icon from here. Is that the Solo? Look up in this direction that I'm walking. See the direction I'm walking? Look up, but in yeah. this direction. Do you see an icon up there? No. I can. But it might be my beacon on to solo. <laughs> or it might be my dead body. One of the two. Oh, yeah. This thing. Yeah. So, anyway. So, um, when we revealed the core and got the whole plan unlocked, it, it revealed a new something out in space. Like a satellite? uh alien thing of some kind so i'm guessing we might be able to see that from the spaceship mm. oh that's weird the batteries that i had that were full that i put on the spaceship are almost empty hmm. huh well i mean we could try to travel to it but i kind of feel like i want to rebuild my yeah get ourselves necessities and stuff so I'm going to say we're going to save that for the next episode. I think we've accomplished a lot this episode, and that leaves some mystery for the next one. Um, so my plans for the next episode would be to figure out that. We'll travel up into space, 
Um, I'll put the seats back in here. We'll forget about Astrox for now. That's the last planet that we've never seen. And uh, just see if we can figure out that satellite. I mean, somewhere out there, it seems like there's a satellite. There's something orbiting the planet. Maybe it wasn't there before, and that's why we never saw it. But once we activated everything, like it put it out there or something. I don't know. So we're going to unravel this mystery. It's pretty weird and intriguing. Uh, so we'll figure that out and then come back next episode and hopefully we'll have some answers for you so i appreciate everybody coming out i appreciate the guys hanging out with me uh if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you know exactly when the videos are coming out so thanks again everybody i appreciate the view and support as always and i will see you later laters bye